Hello, my name is Paul Young. On behalf of my co-author, Brett Tangadol, I'm pleased to offer you this video introduction to our paper, Explicit Computation of Gross Stark Units Over Real Quadratic Fields, which is to be published in the Journal of Number Theory. In the paper, we give an efficient, explicit, piatic algorithm for constructing abelian extensions of real quadratic fields, much in the spirit of Hilbert's 12th problem. Given a real quadratic field F and an abelian extension K of F, we construct the gross stark units attached to this abelian extension. The gross stark units are algebraic numbers in K, which were conjectured to exist in a 1981 paper of Benedict Gross. The conjecture specifies the absolute values of the gross stark units at every place of K. It also provides that for a particular prime P, the gross stark units can be computed piatic analytically as the exponentials of partial derivatives with respect to S at S equals zero of piatic partial zeta functions attached to this abelian extension. The third part of the conjecture, the abelian condition, says that the gross stark units actually are algebraic numbers in K and generate the abelian extension K over F. Our computation proceeds as follows. First, we decompose the piatic partial zeta function into a finite sum of Shintani zeta functions using a continued fraction algorithm due to Zagier and Hayes. Then, using formulas due to Shintani, Kashio and Yoshida, and also to Brett and myself in our previous paper, this reduces the computation to the evaluation of a finite number of values of a piatic double log gamma function at large arguments. And in our previous paper, Brett and I gave an efficient expansion for performing exactly this computation, which is featured prominently in this paper. The final part of the algorithm is the recognition of the coefficients of the minimal polynomial for the gross stark units over F as elements of the real quadratic field F. So we can compute the gross stark units to as many digits of piatic accuracy as we wish. Then we need to use the global aspect of the conjecture in order to recognize the coefficients of its minimal polynomial as elements of F. In the case of real quadratic fields, the gross stark units were recently proved to exist by Darman, Dasgupta, and Pollock. And therefore, in that case, you can view our result as being uh, simply a computational result. It allows you to uh, efficiently get your hands on the gross stark units in an explicit way so that their properties can be studied. However, in the case of an arbitrary totally real field, the gross stark units are only known to exist conditionally. And therefore, in that case, we view our algorithm as providing a template by which the validity of the conjecture itself may be studied computationally. Well, that's a quick introduction to our paper. I hope you're motivated to read it. Cheers!